Welcome to TV TV Sport and to the County Ground, where tonight Hamworth United are facing Shaftesbury in the Wessex League Premier Division. If you're local to the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul area, and you've got a load of rubbish that you need getting rid of, give my mate Steve a call at All Clean Waste Management. And don't forget my mate Bruce at Scam Associates. He's full of useful financial advice, so give him a bell. I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm just going to dive straight in. Hanworth United, top of the league. Shaftesbury second. This is a massive, massive game. On the assumption that I'm still alive on Thursday night, I plan to film Cameron's against Bournemouth Electric in the MA Hart Haywood Cup final. But for now, let's have a look at tonight's squads and starting lineups. Tonight's officials charged with pushing over the fence are Adam Kennard, Lee Stevens, and Gary Watson. You're probably bored of me nagging you about hitting the like and subscribe and comment button, but I'm going to do it anyway. If you like this video, press the like button. If you love it, subscribe. And if you've got something to say, ha, leave a comment. Okay, let's get going. These highlights are brought to you by TV TV. <coughs> Opportunity number one, fell to Dan Can. That's a great ball. Can's effort was soon followed up by a jinking little run from Eddie Hodge, which was ended spectacularly by Sam Davidson. What a tackle. <laughs> Must be something about Tuesday night matches, but there was certainly a little bit of niggle about this one, just like there was last week against Bashley. <laughs> With this Steve Devlin corner sailing over Lewis Gunston Gray's fingertips, Jordan Foote had to step in. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? Oh, oh my God. Steady on, mate. It weren't that bad. We're right there! Come on, let's go! Up your level! Foot was involved in everything, he even got himself on the showboat. <laughs> At this point in the match, the visitors were struggling to create a clear chance, but were still threatening, if that makes any kind of sense. Next up was this cheeky little number from Billy Mabry. And that effort instigated a period of pressure for Shaftesbury. Don't worry, we're at first sight, it's not on for another hour. After nearly taking my camera out, it was time for another Devlin corner.
kudos to Billy Walker, who did like a pirouette in mid-air to be able to head the ball back to Francis, who then bounces it beyond the despairing defenders and puts the Hammers one up. <laughs> oh, I don't really. What are you trying to do? Oh, yeah, oh fuck it out! On the stroke of half-time, the woodwork was called into action. And that was the first 45. Time for some half-time entertainment. Back in the action, and it's Eddie Hodge once again to pull the best out of Lewis Gunston Gray. Who wants another showboat? Step forward, Cam Munn. <laughs> Dan Can scores the slowest goal I've ever seen and celebrates with a little tubby belly dance. Absolutely glorious. Mate, you got something on your feet. Alright, it's normal there. Oh, Gabby! The next 25 minutes were a bit like this. With just under 20 minutes remaining, a bit of football broke out. Asa Phillips is the filling between a Devlin and Walker sandwich and wins a penalty for the Rockies. Go, go. Yeah! yeah. Steps up and with 15 minutes to go, it's time to go. Yeah, it's game, the team, team's got a lot of set of game on. Bid slots the penalty away and with 15 minutes left, it's game on. However, further endearing himself to the Shaftesbury bench, the referee Sinbin's beard and they're down to 10 men for 10 minutes. Not letting the defenders be out, Sean. Brad Hill throws in a showboat. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah, so do I. As you can see, it was getting a bit touchy. Get up. A healthy 334 packed into the county ground to witness what was going to turn out to be a controversial ending. Hmm, now I've seen these given and not given. Let's see what Twitter thinks. Now, of course, these may all be Hammers fans, but the general opinion seems to be it's not a pen. But my personal favourite is... Ollie Cherritt and his team let the referee know they didn't agree with that decision, so by way of explanation, the referee responded like this. As we all know, that fixes everything. Anyway, onto the league table, Hamworthy stayed top, Bashley won, which means Shaftesbury dropped a third. Right, I'm still alive, which means that you have to like this video. Go on, you know it makes sense.